Guys, it's day 27. We're coming up on the final countdown. Oh my goodness. So, about to walk into the gym. <clears throat> Some thoughts for today. Communication. What is the number one reason for divorce? You've heard infidelity, you've heard financial problems, but honestly it boils down to lack of good communication. Your communication starts going out the door and things just start crumbling, right? You have some resentments that happen, you don't know how to express them, and it just stops working and you stop caring. <laughs> but think of any eroded relationship. Where is your communication there? Think of kind of your toughest relationship. You know, I hear people say, well, I haven't talked to him in years, or yeah, we don't talk. We, we don't really talk. Okay, so it's telling me something. Communication is vital for a successful relationship. So let's think about this today. How can we communicate more effectively with people we want to have in our lives? Well, we can go simple, right? We've all been taught, maybe you haven't been taught, to use the I statements. You can't go into a conversation and say, you make me feel this, you did this, you did this. You can say, when you do this behavior, it, I feel this way. Okay, you can try to do that. But always bring it back to you when you're communicating, I, I, I. So you could start with something that simple. Another thing with relationships is I learned something when I was a missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We were paired up as companions and part of this companionship um, process was a weekly meeting called Companionship Inventory. So interesting. <laughs> so Companionship Inventory was a set meeting once a week where we had to talk about our relationship. We had set questions even about how are you feeling about this and, and what can we work on for this week. We would work on different attrib attributes of Christ. Wow, that is an inspired thing to do in a companionship because it helped me get through some really hard companionships. Do we do that in our marriage? Do we do that with our kids? Do you guys have like a set meeting where, hey, every week at this time, and you can make it fun. You don't have to be like, we're gonna meet and talk about what bugs us. No, you can just meet and maybe go out to dinner and, and maybe you wanna come up with a list. There's nothing wrong with that. But you talk and you say, when this happened, I felt this way. I, 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 right? Start there. You can do it with your kids too. Have a weekly little meeting with them. Another thing that works with maybe a, a tougher co-parenting or co-worker relationship, when you have to say something you don't wanna say, you know, when, when it's tough, I call it the, what do I call it, you guys? It's like a, it's a communication sandwich, that's it. So you start with the bread and you just lay it on like loving, loving, loving. I start with a compliment, you know. Oh, I appreciate that you dropped my kid off on time, you know, at our designated meeting spot or whatever. Then you bring in the meat, what you have to really talk about, okay? The part that might be hard. So bring in the meat, okay, say, but her teacher was saying that this happened at home, you know, whatever it is. And then what's next, the other piece of bread? Lay it on again, something else that you noticed that's a compliment, okay? Try that communication sandwich. Try communicating, you guys. Some people think they're done. I, I don't even want to address it. Maybe you're in a marriage. I don't even want to talk. I have so much resentment. I don't want to work on this. But it is the hard work of communication that's go going to solve the problems. Think about this, too. When you don't communicate, that's hard too. Kind of have to pick your hard, but this has a lot better rewards than the other type of hard. Okay, now I'm rambling. Okay, go do it, guys. Communicate. Day 27. Bye.